And before I get into the video, I just want you all to know that I do now have a public Discord server. So this will just be, honestly, this is just for me to make sure, I mean, you could probably just join this to make sure you're getting my notifications because I don't, I don't really know how well YouTube notifications have been going out. But yeah, just join a server. I'll, I'll be here every now and then. I, it's just a typical Discord server. Keep it simple. See, saw me. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we're at, like, 100-something members right now. We could, yeah, I, I think we can definitely get that up. So, um, I have a Discord server. Link in the description. And on to the video. Hey, guys. Mike here. And today, I will be doing... I will be showing you guys a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Uh, an industry secret. Why did I say industry? But a little bit of a secret uh, technique that I do to make any... Like, any type of recolor. So this will really apply to any any texture in a pack. It could be the sword, it could be the armor, the tools, whatever. But I got my armor and sword from Ledge 16x right here. So obviously there's the usual just hue saturation and hoping it turns out good. You know, there's always that. It's always pretty simple. But then then there's a thing that how, how do you how, then there's a the question of how do you make fade recolors? Which I get a lot. I get that a lot, I, especially oh cotton candy recolor. <laughs> I get that a lot. So basically, it's pretty simple. I've already shown it on stream, but I feel like it's good that I make a dedicated video to this real quick. So that's what you guys are getting today. My little secret on making any kind of recolor, cotton candy, whatever you want. So this can work with even solid colors. So basically, the basics of it is first, you select the part that you want to recolor. And then you do Control shift g or wherever grayscale is in here then you make a new layer this or Control shift n and then you will use the fill tool right here and then fill it over here and now once you do that you press uh f4 or you just double click the layer and you'll get the layer properties and then you change from blend mode to overlay and now this looks pretty good on its own but it seems a little bright so one thing you can do is you can use uh like brightness to adjust like the the darkness of the base of and stuff you know and then you can just do whatever you want and any other finishing touches after that to make it look however you want so that's the basics and then when it comes to uh fades like for cotton candy for example so you get your two colors like what blue and pink and then you do the gradient tool and then you just make a gradient however which way you want however which way looks best for you and yeah yeah that's pretty much a cotton candy recall right there that's how i made the cotton candy for like any pack so and here you can even if it doesn't look right you can even make it brighter increase the contrast a little bit <laughs> do something like that it's pretty much how i did stuff on like glory 16x and um yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty much all you have to do to make on getting recolors and even works on armor like go here it works on any texture so just follow the basic proper the same properties and then you're good to go keep gradient overlay and boom Sure. So this looks kind of bad because it's rushed and because I'm just showing a tutorial. But, you know, I think this will hopefully give you an understanding of the properties of what I'm doing. Simple understanding. I'm sure, this looks gradient now, but it probably works best on like gradient packs and stuff like that. I mean, it kind of worked on. Uh, it kind of worked on. Um, on Glory 6 next. So, yeah, it kind of worked out. So, yeah, you just grayscale. And then you put on your colors or your gradient and then you make whatever adjustments you feel like you need in order to make the best outcome all right well hopefully you guys hopefully that helped you guys out and you can now stop bothering me with questions of how to make cotton candy recolors while you live stream hey but uh anyway have a good day and see ya